are delighted. Obviously, you know, the, the, the goal all through the campaign was to get back to the top flight, and you know, we did it in in, in strange, you know, very tough circumstances. Um, managed to dig in there as a team and, and get back there. So it's going to be really exciting. You know, obviously, you have to get this season out of the way and, and try and rest and recuperate after a long 46 game season. But but now, you know, the, the mindset switches to um, how we have to succeed in the Premier League. So we've got a lot of work to do. Ah, greatest moment. Um, I suppose in terms of what you've achieved, uh, it would have to be playing for England. You know, I was fortunate enough to play for England and get a cap. Um, so for me, from a personal standpoint, that, that's sort of got to be it. Um, but I've been, I've been lucky. I've been involved in some good teams. You know, the, the Newcastle side that won the league, uh, Marseille side that, that qualified for the Champions League, QPR side that got promoted. Um, you know, and a number of good experiences at Manchester City. As I say, to play for them clubs, you know, City, Newcastle. Um, Marseille and, and QPR have been very fortunate, so there's lots of good memories. No, no one, no single one uh, stands out. Probably the probably the playoff final because it's it's the most recent. Uh, yeah, one or two. Uh, I think you always wish you could have done things a little bit different or a little bit better, or you knew, or you or you certainly uh, you were as wise as what you are today as as as, as what you. Wasn't a, a, a at a young age, and you know, for me, ideally, it would have been it would have been better not to have made those sort of mistakes. Uh, but but it's life, you know. You, you learn your lessons from it, and you hope it makes you a better player and a better person uh, in the future. And uh, no, he's all right, Harry. You know, um, you have a good working relationship with him, um, and he's, he is what he what you see of him, you know, he, he, he wears his heart on his sleeve, um, the way people uh, perceive him in the media is that, that way, you know, he's, he's, he's good with players who um, can be maybe difficult for other managers because he communicates with them, so I really enjoyed working for him this year, um, I'm looking forward to next year because one thing Gary does is he, he gets players in, so it'll be really exciting times I think for QBR to see, you know, who they, who they bring into the fold. There's a number of them, you know. We have one, we have one or two. I'm trying to think of stuff they do. Just be like generally like quite uh, mundane stuff, like clothes being um, home from lights if they're a little bit dodgy, or uh, trainers being put in the bin, or um, you know, a little bit sort of childish kind of kind of humour. Um, I mean, it's all in good jest. So there's no, there's never any um, any sort of problems afterwards. No one. Uh, Cut stuff off and then anything like that. It did used to happen a few years ago, and it has happened in dressing rooms I've been in. But, but yeah, all good art and fun at the minute. Yeah. I'd have to probably go Steve Mandanda in goal. Um, Colacini, be a great five aside defender. Uh, I'd have to put myself in there. Uh, I think Ravel Morrison would be very good, and Valbuena would have to say. Maybe Junior, maybe Junior. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, hopefully stay in the game. I think I'm, I'm, I'm a student of the game, I'm someone who loves football, and I would think, you know, obviously I'm. I'm about to get get me UEFA A license qualification, so uh, I've got the B already in the bag. I'll have the A, you know, way on the road at a young age, you know, 31, to become a uh, fully qualified coach. So it's something I think I'd, I'd be really interested in doing, you know, coaching, and and then see where that takes me. I mean, you know, if if, if I don't do that, I can always I'll always be able to fall back on the media work because for some strange reason, you know, people sort of uh, like the way. You know, you talk about the games, the way you don't sort of cut corners, the way you just say what you see, really. In my opinion, it's, uh, I would still have to say Messi. I mean, Ronaldo's obviously had a great year and won the Ballon d'Or and so on and so forth, but uh, I still really like and still think Messi's a little bit ahead of him. And he's had a bad year. <laughs>